My first ORS meeting, I believe, was in 1985, and the memory I have of it is I hardly understood a word anybody was saying. <laughs> so it was pretty intimidating. One of the things that I appreciate about the ORS overall is being with clinicians and physiotherapists and other engineers like me and biologists and just covering the whole gamut from the genetics all the way through rehabilitation. I had come from a strictly surgical background. That very first year was a pivotal year where I went to my first ORS meeting and realized what a much bigger world there was out there than just the clinical world. My first ORS meeting, I walked into the conference center and I was just amazed by the size of the, the poster hall, the amount of posters, the amount of researchers. It was game changing for me. After about two and a half years of just putting plates and screws on bone, I wanted to understand what bone is, how bone heals. ORS is the time where you can put everything else aside and just focus on the science. I was joking with my, my family that I'm going to camp, I'm <laughs> going to orthopedics camp. I've never been to a society like this where the senior leadership was so accessible. I think there are these huge superstars, but when I come here, it, it feels like I'm able to talk to them and they're approachable. What could be better to discuss your work and to start collaborations? That's where I met Dr. Ellen Gradzinski, and our collaboration goes back 25 years, and we are now working on sending specimens to space. I always wanted to give back to the ORS community, considering how much impact it made on my life. The seriousness of the U.S. participants stimulates the international participants that, you know, are we really serious enough? The impact that researchers and orthopedic surgeons can have on lives is profound. It's a really exciting time. There's just so many engineering technologies, CRISPR technologies, genetic tools, biological tools. We're, we're just seeing the pace of research accelerate so quickly. It's, it's a tremendously exciting time. Thank you.